So in this form, you're given a polynomial form. If you're given a polynomial, it's very likely your strategy will be to factor the expression. So what I would do, again, this is an equal sign, is I would rewrite my expression with all the terms on one side. So I'd subtract an x from both sides, subtract a 6 from both sides, and then look to factor this. Again, any polynomial forms will usually be factored. If you're given factors, you'll look to expand it as your strategy. So here, if I look for my two binomial factors that have a product of negative 6 and a different or a sum of negative 1, I get negative 3 and a plus 2. So here are my solutions. x is either equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 2. So when I look to these choices, I'm going to look to eliminate any that are not true. Well, uh, I see that x can't be 6, and these uh, ranges of numbers do not work. But let's look at the relationship when you uh, square each of these compared to the number itself. So if we take 3 squared versus 3, and we take negative 2 squared versus negative 2. Uh, in each of these cases, if we substitute in the correct inequality, here we get 9 versus 3. Is 9 is going to be greater than. And when we look at 4 versus negative 2, 4 is going to be greater than. And so we get the expression that when or the relationship that when you square x, it's going to be greater than the original x, which means our answer choice for this will be e.